Justin McElroy, everybody has a podcast, except you a how to guide from the first family of podcasting. Welcome to the fascinating world of podcasting. In this summary of everybody has a podcast, except you a how to guide from the first family of podcasting by Justin McElroy, we will delve into the secrets to creating an engaging and successful podcast. Discover how to choose a topic that excites you, develop a consistent format, present your content compellingly, and utilize the right tools and techniques to record and edit your podcast. Prepare to learn how to become a charismatic host while building a loyal audience and, ultimately, turning your podcasting passion into a fruitful endeavor. Unleash your podcast passion. To create a captivating podcast, first identify a subject that genuinely inspires or obsesses you. Research the existing podcasts on that topic and carve out a unique angle based on your personal expertise. Refine your idea into a one-sentence pitch that clearly conveys your podcast's essence, and finally, ensure that you are willing to invest the time and effort to create something you'd love to listen to yourself. Take a moment to dive deep into your personal interests, as enthusiasm for your subject is essential to create engaging content. By tapping into a genuine passion, you'll keep your audience hooked to your podcast. Once you've pinned down your podcast passion, it's time to understand the existing landscape. Given the immense popularity of podcasting, you'll likely come across many similar podcasts. Don't let this discourage you, Instead, use it as an opportunity to explore a fresh perspective on your chosen subject. Your unique approach can make your podcast stand out from the crowd. To amplify your podcast's distinctiveness, draw on your personal expertise. Utilize your knowledge or training to enrich your podcast in ways that others may find difficult to emulate. Your expertise will not only add credibility to your work but also provide a foundation for building the podcast's identity. After setting the stage for your podcast, refine your idea into a one-sentence pitch that accurately reflects its core theme. An effective one-liner should give potential listeners a taste of your podcast's content, making it easy for them to share and recommend it to others. By clearly communicating your podcast's concept, you'll attract an audience eager to explore your content. Lastly, consider two key questions. Are you ready to commit the necessary time and effort to create your podcast? And, would you enjoy listening to your podcast if someone else had created it? If your answers are affirmative, congratulations. You have the foundation for a unique, engaging podcast that will resonate with listeners. As you embark on this podcasting journey, remember to stay true to your passion, distinct angle, and expertise. With a well-crafted one-liner under your belt, you will be well-equipped to captivate audiences and make your mark in the podcasting world. Crafting Consistent Podcasts To build a loyal podcast audience, it is essential to maintain consistency in format, incorporate productive discussions with a co-host when needed, and strike a balance in show length and release schedule. Finding your fitting formula may take time, but once identified, adherence is crucial to keep your growing audience engaged. Podcasts have become an integral part of many people's lives, seamlessly blending with their daily habits and activities. Thus, when crafting your podcast, you're setting expectations for your listeners. Meeting those expectations consistently can garner a devoted, engaged following. Starting a podcast involves crucial decisions regarding its format. One prime factor is whether you should host the show solo or with a co-host. Single-hosted podcasts are fitting for information-dense topics, where multiple voices might distract listeners. In contrast, conversational, informal shows typically benefit from co-hosts, who can provide alternative perspectives and maintain liveliness. Ensure your co-host shares your commitment and stays on board long-term, as sudden changes can unsettle your audience. Determining your podcast's duration is equally essential. The content decides the most suitable length, it could last a concise 15 minutes, like Memory Palace, or stretch over several hours, as seen with Hardcore History. Regardless of duration, avoid rambling and respect your audience's time and attention by making every minute count. Lastly, 
consider the feasibility of your release schedule. Reflect on whether you can manage weekly episodes or if bi-weekly or monthly schedules accommodate your lifestyle better. Regular releases retain loyal listeners. Ultimately, achieving the perfect podcast formula may involve trial and error, spanning several episodes and experiments. You might initially plan an hour-long podcast, only to discover that 45 minutes offers a more organic outcome. Once you pinpoint your unique formula, adhering to it consistently will ensure the continued engagement and loyalty of your ever-expanding audience. Engaging your podcast audience To create an engaging podcast, identify your primary aim, remember to entertain, and utilize a show format with predictable segments. Keep your storytelling captivating, and be selective when choosing content to include. Every podcast enthusiast is familiar with the experience of abandoning a podcast despite its interesting topic, simply because it was too dull to bear. The key to preventing this lies in presenting content in a way that's both meaningful and entertaining. First, identify the primary aim of your podcast. Do you want to evoke laughter or enlighten your audience? Your goal determines how you select and frame your content, regardless of the show's genre. For instance, in Justin and Sidney McElroy's medical history podcast, Sawbones, a marital tour of misguided medicine, the duo shares tales of peculiar medical treatments throughout history while focusing on entertaining their listeners. Instead of regaling them with an extensive historical account, the McElroys carefully select captivating stories with strong narratives and high entertainment value. Another important aspect of an engaging podcast is dividing the show into predictable segments. Typically, a podcast starts with an intro, where hosts introduce the show and its topic. The following middle section forms the core content, and it can be broken down into smaller, distinct segments. These segments may include call-ins, discussions on relevant topics, and more. Offering a consistent structure helps keep listeners informed about what to expect and enables hosts to maintain interest. If one segment underperforms, simply move on to the next to preserve the show's momentum. Lastly, conclude your podcast with a concise outro, thanking the audience, mentioning plugs or upcoming episodes, and encouraging subscriptions. Keep it short and punchy to avoid losing your listeners' attention. By constructing your podcast with clear goals, captivating storytelling, and a consistent format, you can transform even the most obscure information into a riveting and memorable listening experience. Budget-Friendly Podcast Setup Creating a quality podcast recording doesn't require a professional studio or expensive equipment. A budget-friendly home studio can be set up by investing in a good microphone, using easily available software like Audacity, and finding a quiet space with sound absorption, such as a closet. When it comes to recording a podcast, the first thing you need is a microphone. You don't have to break the bank to purchase a decent mic, a good quality USB microphone can be obtained for around $100. These microphones are perfect for beginners, as they plug directly into your computer for easy recording. For those more experienced or seeking multiple microphone setups, an XLR mic is the way to go. These microphones don't connect directly to a computer and require cables and a soundboard to operate. A functional soundboard can typically be purchased for about $100 as well. In addition to a microphone, you'll need a suitable space for recording. Though many podcasters dream of having a professional sound studio, it's not a necessity. Look for spaces with carpets, books, and soft furnishings that help absorb sound, like a closet filled with clothes. If you can comfortably sit inside with the door closed, you found your recording space. Now that your space and microphone are taken care of, it's time to focus on software. Digital audio workstations, like the open source program Audacity, provide all the necessary tools for recording and editing your podcast. Audacity is free, user-friendly, and easily transferable if you choose to expand your skills and move to another program later. With a modest investment up front and a little creativity, you can set up your home studio without breaking the bank. By using a budget-friendly microphone, effective recording software, and a sound-absorbing space, you'll be well on your way to producing a quality podcast. 
Mastering the Art of Hosting The key to becoming a fantastic podcast host lies in focus and enthusiasm. To be truly engaging, embrace an authentic, yet amplified version of yourself. Ensure that you're in the right mindset before recording, free from distractions, and able to actively listen to your co-hosts or guests. Adopt the, yes, and approach to keep conversations flowing and use editing techniques to polish your content for an enjoyable listening experience. You've likely encountered a podcast that you couldn't stop listening to, it drew you in, sparked your interest, and made you feel connected to the host. This connection is essential to a podcast's success, and it's primarily the host's responsibility to create that authentic connection with their audience. Becoming an exceptional host involves more than just speaking into a microphone, it's a performance. Naturally, it's essential to be true to your character, but it's equally crucial to embrace your most enthusiastic, engaging self. This version of you captivates listeners with a sense of genuine storytelling that keeps them coming back for more. So, how can you hone your hosting skills and make your podcast thrive? First, focus and enthusiasm are crucial. Ensure you're in the right headspace before hitting the record button and eliminate potential distractions. Close any irrelevant browser tabs and switch off your phone, allowing you to be fully present for your audience. The format of your podcast might be improvised, scripted, or a combination of both. Regardless, a great host listens actively to their co-hosts or guests, paying attention, following the conversation, and using body language to show engagement. Simultaneously, you should consider how you can contribute and respond to the discussion to maintain its energy and momentum. It's essential to adopt an, yes, and approach when replying to your guests. By doing so, you validate their statements and build upon the conversation, keeping it dynamic and interesting. Occasionally, you might need to use a, no, but tactic to redirect a stale discussion towards more engaging topics. Rest assured that podcast recording offers the opportunity for post-recording editing. Whether dealing with awkward silences or unexpected background noises, be prepared to cut out any dull or distracting moments. Developing strong editing skills is a cornerstone of successful podcasting, enabling you to craft a polished final product that your audience will appreciate and enjoy. As you embark on your podcasting journey, keep these key principles in mind. By embracing your most engaging self and focusing on active listening, thoughtful contributions, and skillful editing, you'll be on your way to mastering the art of podcast hosting, captivating listeners, and cultivating a loyal audience. Mastering Podcast Editing Editing a podcast is similar to sculpting a masterpiece from a block of marble. It involves multiple stages of refinement for the best results. Begin by removing obvious distractions, identifying sections to keep, and making edits accordingly. Finally, polish transitions, add music, and seek feedback before making final adjustments and launching your podcast. Imagine you have a large block of marble that you must transform into Michelangelo's David, this mirrors the process of editing a podcast. Turning raw audio into a polished podcast demands multiple stages of cutting, sanding, and polishing before achieving perfection. First, eliminate the parts you know will not be included, such as background noises or irrelevant conversations. A helpful tip is to mark those spots during recording, using long pauses or dog clickers. Remember that podcast editing requires multiple steps to ensure the best quality. The bigger challenge lies in deciding the content worth keeping. Listen to the entire recording, noting timestamps for potential edits, but avoid making cuts immediately lest you lose crucial context. After assessing the recording, make selective edits based on your podcast style, whether it's a succinct 20-minute summary or a laid-back conversation. With the main content in place, it's time for the polishing phase. Ensure smooth transitions, remove redundant words, and eliminate awkward silences unless they contribute to the story. This stage also offers the opportunity to incorporate music. You can acquire music through various avenues, such as licensing from local artists, obtaining free music from platforms like creativecommons.org, or composing your tunes with programs like GarageBand. 
having a polished version of your podcast, seek feedback from trusted sources. Ask for specific opinions on elements like transitions or pacing. Once you receive feedback, make the final refinements to your masterpiece. In conclusion, perfecting a podcast requires an intricate editing process, from removing distractions to polishing content and incorporating additional elements like music. Always seek feedback on your finished version to ensure a quality product that keeps listeners engaged. With these steps, you will be on the path to creating an audio masterpiece. Attracting Podcast Listeners So, you've crafted your perfect podcast, and now it's time to showcase it to the world. The essential first step is choosing a reputable hosting service that guarantees reliability, cost-effectiveness, and valuable analytics. Once you've selected the right platform, expand your horizons by registering your podcast on major platforms such as Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Lastly, let your audience know you care by engaging with them and perfecting your social media presence. Your podcast has potential, but how do you transform it into a sensation? The first vital step is choosing an exceptional hosting service. This server is where your podcast resides, so be prepared to research a service with a solid reputation by asking yourself, are they established? Have they worked with other successful podcasters? This ensures you'll not only have reliability on your side, but also minimizes the chances of experiencing a hosting change. The importance of a good hosting service and an online presence cannot be understated. However, don't rush into it, consider their fees and if they have a free trial plan. A bonus point to consider is access to advertising networks that allow ad inserts into your podcast retroactively. And don't forget about analytics. A reputable hosting service will offer insights into your audience, helping you enhance your episodes and determine potential live event venues. Remember, too, to prioritize your podcast's web presence. Investigate how the hosting service profiles podcasts on their site, as well as their website's user-friendly design and embedded player feature. After you've found a hosting service that fits your needs, push your podcast into the limelight by registering it on popular sites like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. This move connects you with millions of potential listeners, so take the time to enter accurate metadata and categories to maximize visibility. With your podcast now readily available, it's time to cultivate your audience. Forge strong connections with your listeners by responding to emails and acknowledging feedback. Enhance your social media game through platforms like Facebook and Twitter, allowing you to announce new episodes, share exclusive content, and receive user thoughts on your existing episodes. By fully committing to this process, your podcast not only reaches a wider audience but also leaves a lasting impact that will keep your listeners coming back for more. Unlocking Podcast Profitability Although podcasting might not make you an overnight millionaire, there are several avenues through which dedicated and imaginative podcasters can potentially turn their passion into a full-time job. Tapping into the power of crowdfunding, exploring branded merchandise, hosting live events, and utilizing advertising are all effective ways to establish a revenue stream for your podcast. By staying persistent and simultaneously nurturing your audience engagement, you can ultimately turn podcasting into a rewarding and fulfilling endeavor. While instant riches following your podcast publication might be a far-fetched expectation, there are several methods for monetizing your podcast and possibly transforming it into a full-time career. To turn your passion into profit, creativity, and persistence are crucial. Crowdfunding is one of the most effective approaches for generating income in the early stages of your podcast. Platforms like Kickstarter or Indiegogo enable you to solicit financial support directly from your audience while also generating publicity for your project. Additionally, venues like Patreon allow listeners to become regular patrons, contributing funds incrementally. This not only fosters audience engagement but the downside is the considerable time and energy investments involved. Another strategy for monetizing your podcast after cultivating a substantial following is selling branded merchandise or organizing live events as a means of fundraising. Prior to hosting your own event, 
consider participating in a podcast festival or opening for a well-recognized podcast to gain invaluable live performance experience before committing to the economic risk of reserving a theater. The most lucrative and widespread method for monetizing podcasts is through advertising. Dynamic advertising permits the automatic insertion of new ads in podcasts when they are downloaded. By collaborating with ad agencies, you can negotiate fair rates for your podcast and engage with commercial brands. The income generated from this approach is contingent on audience size and the extent of your promotional efforts. To maximize profitability, consider producing sponsored episodes that integrate content promoting commercial products. It is vital, however, to distinguish between your original content and commercial components, ensuring your podcast's integrity remains intact. While you may never accumulate enough wealth from your podcast to purchase an exotic island, the McElroy Brothers' eight-year journey serves as an encouraging example. After years of dedication, they were able to leave their day jobs and pursue their podcasting passion full-time, which is an invaluable achievement. By now, you've learned some invaluable strategies for starting and growing a captivating podcast. To recap, the key highlights taught in this summary include selecting a topic that you're enthusiastic about, ensuring consistency in your podcast's format, captivating your audience with entertaining presentation, recording and editing using suitable equipment and software, developing excellent hosting skills, and making money through various channels such as crowdfunding, merchandise, live events, and advertising. Equipped with these insights, you are now ready to embark on your podcasting journey and transform your unique ideas into an engaging podcast that resonates with your audience. The road ahead may be filled with challenges, but with dedication and a quality podcast, success is attainable.